Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Stormblood. In the last episode, we were able to assault Castrum Veladina, clear the battle, seize the bridge, and gain access to the rest of Girabania, the fringes here. So that was good. Then we came over here to this area, which is the home of the M tribe, which is where Monago is from. And while we were here, we got a word from the Vera tribe of the Ananta that one of the other tribes, I forget what they were called, after a series of unfortunate events involving a, you know, the daughter of the head of that tribe being taken hostage by the skulls and then getting killed that uh, they ended up summoning a primal Sri Lakshmi and so we are going to have to deal with that so that is what we are going to be working on at least we're going to push up to the point where we have the primal fight open not sure we're actually going to get to it today I'm going to get as much done as I can. So, as you can see, new gear for my samurai. Up to 68. Working on getting the samurai to 70. And then we'll see how things are going to play out from there. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Alphano about all this and see what it is we're going to do next. Um, at the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I have been rather too willing to accept that we have no other recourse than to risk our lives, or rather your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Remu would sooner keep to the forests with his children. Ere we decide to challenge Sri Lakshmi, it would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her into this world. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north you will find our village. Uh, Sarisha shall unfold all. all right, we shall leave at once. Monago, can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what happened? I get this, Monago. Of course, be safe, my friends. All right, but before we leave, we're going to grab this here, because this gives us an Aether Current. Uh, Zimzizi is fretting over the tribe's lack of food. Okay. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was distracted by the grumbling in my stomach. Thanks to the Garleans, we've been gathering, we've been having trouble maintaining our food stores. Custom dictates that any game brought back to the village must be distributed evenly amongst everyone, but there hasn't been much to go around lately. Without fear of harassment from the Garleans, we can finally begin hunting again, but there's still much to do if we're going to replenish our supplies. Any chance you'd be willing to help? If you could bring back, say, three uh, Teleoceruses, it would be great help. You'll find them to the north of here, but don't kill them. We need their meat to be as fresh as possible when it's put away. When you've worn them down enough, you can stuff them into these bags without much of a fight. Now, I know what you're thinking, but trust me, they'll fit. Stay safe out there. Okay, we have burlap sacks, and we need to go weaken some of these things and then catch them. All right. They're just north of here. Okay, we can do that. And I think I will take the normal way down rather than jumping off, as I typically like to do. Because I don't know what's at the bottom of the cliff. I would rather not um, lose all of my health and then get attacked by some local wildlife. So that's the thing they want me to catch. In a burlap sack. Alrighty then. Alright, what 
constitutes weakened. Alright, let's try it. Got it. Didn't quite get to it in time. Alright. Don't want to hit it with my big shot. Because... I don't want to kill the thing. Alright, is there another one around here somewhere? Yep. Just over there. There you are. That should be enough. There we go. Deliver the dinosaur filled sacks. All right. I'm carrying three of those things around, because that makes perfect sense. Alright. I got what you wanted. You're back. Do those bags contain what I think they do? Indeed they do. Well, you really did it. Not that I th didn't think you could, mind you. It's just been so long since anyone here has had the guts to contend with those beasts. You can be sure we'll make good use of them. Their meat for rations is a given, but their horns and bones will make good tools and their hides can make belts and boots. Did you know that Teleoceras isn't even native to these lands? The Garleans used them for carrying freights, but the Sods couldn't keep them under control. A few of them escaped into the wilds, started breeding, and here we are. I guess you could say it's a blessing in disguise. If they hadn't brought uh, Teleoceras here, We'd have one less source of meat and materials for fashioning our tools. Alright. Let me just take a look. Travel. Aether Currents. I did manage to pick up all of the Aether Currents here in the field, so we just have the quest ones. So I'm sure there's another side quest one, and then there's the one that is going to be the last main story quest in the zone, most likely. So, we are off north again to the Vera camp, village, whatever you want to call it. Do I need repairs? I could use a few repairs. Where's the mender? There you are. All right, Sarisha. Let's have a chat about Sri Lakshmi. All right. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the Science of the Seventh Dawn, and we come seeking Sarisha of the Vera. You are she, are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succor, and we intend to provide them, but we would first learn more of Sri Lakshmi, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. 
a simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image. Daughters blessed with her beauty, her breath became ours, her serenity our solace. There is naught she would not give. Hmm. Twas the uh, Kalyana brood mother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection when first called forth Sri Lakshmi from the ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess will be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives will have been colored by the summoner's state of mind, namely that of a grieving mother who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, she may also have harbored thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's conception of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vira and the Kalyana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Vira, Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will, and so we stand with the resistance against the Empire, and give our lives for the cause. To the Kalyana, however, she embodies transcendental beauty, which they strive to create through their craft. To shape crystal is less art and more ritual, a sacred duty wherein each tribute is imbued with a fragment of the soul. The Imperials don't interfere with this holy work, and so the Kalyana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until reality asserted itself, and they summoned a primal. A fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands, and nothing will change. The Ananta will. The Kalyana bade the Vera to make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember? Those who do not wish to take partake of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Now while we'll, we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? <laughs> know that I'll kill your god if I have to, maybe even if I don't. No. no you can count on us. Then we shall, for without you we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Vadra will guide you to uh, Jajanan Kat, I think, and I shall pray for your success. All right, let's turn this in. Well met, Scions. I am Vajra, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Vajra is ready to guide you to Janan Kat. All right. You're ready? Hmm? You look ready. Uh, John and Kat, there you will find Kalyana's crystals and Sri Lakshmi. Follow me. But before that, there is something we want over here. A quest marker. That will give us an Aether Current. Alright, Adventurer, I would ask a favor of you. In recent days, strange men have been stealing prey from our hunting grounds. They appear to be Alamegans, but they do not recognize us as allies. They refuse to listen when we explain they are trespassing, 
If they were to see another Strider in our company, they may not be so quick to fight and flee. They are last spotted to the east of here. Please go and speak with them before anyone comes to harm. Ugh. I do have a bit of a scratch in my throat right now. So, it's getting a little, a little difficult to speak without going into a coughing fit. Alright, well, let's go ahead and um, see what we can do. Let's go ahead and take care of this side quest first. And then we will head on over to the main story quest. And I think that will probably unlock um, Sri Lakshmi. Alright, looks like they're not going to talk, because I can tell from the purple circle. Indeed. Take them all down at the same time. Please, wait. If you'll listen for just a moment... Ah, uh, keep that thing away from me. Alright. I fear they won't listen to anything I have to say. Would you go after him and explain that his people are trespassing? I must tend to my wounds. All right, let's speak to the guy. You, you were trying to help that, that thing, weren't you? What do you want? They only wanted us to leave their hunting grounds? So they're not savage monsters looking to feast upon our innards? I see. Um, sorry about before. It's not every day you see something like that where I come from. Me and my friends are from a small village in the peaks, you see, and with the garlands blocking all ways in and out of the place, we'd never traveled far. Now that we're most now that they're mostly gone, we thought we'd have a look about, maybe scavenge for a bit of food. We didn't mean no harm, honest. If it's all the same to you, we'll leave and go look for food somewhere far, far away from here. Alright then. Situation resolved. I think after I turn this in, I might have to end this episode a little early. Because I am having problems with my throat, and it's making speaking somewhat difficult without other problems. Alright, so let's turn this in. Alright, you are returned. Were they willing to listen? 
Now, men from the peaks. Interesting. We were concerned the M tribe may have coerced them into stealing from our land. My sisters will be relieved to hear this. These people are desperate enough to venture here for food. Perhaps we can help them. A deal of some kind. A share of our food stores in exchange for materials for our gem crafting. Yes, that would be a fair trade. I'll need to discuss this with my sisters. The beginning of our fruitful partnership may be at hand. Okay. I'd rather not end things this early. Um, you know what? Let's go just hit the main story quest. Let's see if we can at least get to the, the Sri Lakshmi fight. Or get it unlocked. I don't think it's going to be too much longer, so I'll see if I can hold out. Vadra. Let's talk to her. Alright. John Ancott, the path leads to an entrance above. Within is an aetherite. You must use it to enter. Understood? With me, everyone. Alright. We need to attune to the Aetherite, and that will probably unlock access to the Primal. And, uh, we'll probably call it an episode there. We just need to work our way past all of these, uh, Ananta. And there would be our Aetherite. Wasn't expecting a cutscene, but okay. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She... she is silent. And empty. Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alizé, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood! No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. 
I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service. In beauty and grace, this hath ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. For every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you if you just listen! Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. Well, it looks like that the primal has tempered her subjects, so we're going to need to deal with it. All right. Let's begin. Ali say, "I know, I know, it was stupid and foolish, but but I had to try, Ayame. I had to. I had to try, and I failed. So you have to fight. There is no other way. Let's see. I'll say, uh, never stop trying." It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make it any easier to have to ask you to face that that thing. We can but do that which is within our power. Lise, Alphano, and I will go and seize their crystal stores. This will not happen again. And you, when it is finished, we will be waiting for you. Alright, there we go. The primal is now accessible. So, we will engage and defeat Sri Lakshmi next episode, and then see how things progress from there. We're going to go ahead, we're going to end the episode for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.